This is in Chinchero. This is another beautiful polygonal temple site up on the hills um, in the sacred valley uh, near Cusco, in between sort of Cusco and Machu Picchu. And you can see the polygonal walls here. You can see these beautiful spiral carvings. These have all been sort of built into the local church now. Uh, some examples here as well. It's well worth a visit. It's a beautiful site. We, we go there regularly uh, when we take people out there um, every November. And this is a place nearby. This is where this famous skull uh, was found a couple of years ago. You may have even seen this on the news. I don't know if any of you remember. I think it's actually got on the BBC, so it must have been quite special. Um, and this is just some other skulls that were found there. And basically, this is, this is, is along what's called the Path of Viracocha, who we'll talk about shortly. But this is um, some of the spiral rocks that were found at nearby sites and these beautiful skulls, and, uh, and obviously these relief carvings come from the same place. Uh, again, Silastani, this is a different angle on Silastani, which, um, and this just shows you again, uh, some more some skulls were discovered there, suggesting they may have been the builders. Um, and also we find the serpent carvings and the spirals again. It just goes on and on and on, and uh, I will actually stop at some point, so don't worry, it's not going to be like this all day. And even in Mexico, when I went to Quilquilco, this um, extremely ancient circular pyramid site, uh, actually within the confines of Mexico City. Um, now, this, is, this has been very controversially dated, this site, because there's a lava flow covering the whole area, even part of the pyramid. And when they dated it, it went back to about 7,000 BC, which caused some controversy. So they got some other people to redate it. And they managed to find some examples that are about 2000 BC, uh, ignoring the ones that were 7000 BC. So um, I find that particularly interesting, especially as this beautiful sort of, this is about this big, it's not huge, but beautifully carved double spiral, uh, some kind of ceremonial device here, was found there. Um, so we have to question what was going on. Um, and also, obviously, when we're being in Mexico, as we'll see as we look at Peru and Colombia and other places, there's the great god Quetzalcoatl, Cucu Clan, um, as the Mayans called him. Uh, Quetzalcoatl is the Aztec term, who apparently was some great god, some teacher <coughs> uh, person who arrived on a raft of serpents in the Gulf of Mexico. Um, and he was supposed to be fair skinned with a beard, which is not a local look. Um, and he basically taught many of the arts of civilization, <coughs> stopped people fighting each other, and became revered as this amazing teacher god. And even, as Graham will explain later, even when um, Hernan Cortes turned up there <coughs> many, many thousands of years later, they believed he was uh, the return of Quetzalcoatl, because he was fair-skinned, with a beard, on a kind of raft of serpents, uh, turning up in the same area of the Gulf Coast. Even in the year uh, predicted, he said he would return it. Uh, he spread all through uh, different parts of Central America. Many of the sites were then built and revered. He was referred to as the plumed serpent or the feathered serpent. As we'll see in other places, um, as we go through the Americas, similar legends and stories exist. This is very close to where he apparently arrived. This is the, one of the Olmec sites called La Venta. Uh, great pyramids were built there, uh, these Egyptian looking statues, these African looking heads which don't really fit with local look um, and so it's suggested that they came from across the sea from Africa, I'm sure many of you know about that. And even at Levento we find these, what Graham Hancock calls man bags. Um, <laughs> these are two examples, he, he kept going on about it in a... In a Tepin, most amusingly. But here's an excellent example uh, from Leventa. There's me holding my bag. Um, and here are some from Gebekli Tepin. There's many more. This is just a couple of examples I just wanted to throw in there um, because we, it, another, it's another anomaly that keeps popping up. 